All right, guys, welcome back. I'm coming to you tonight with a cheap, easy upgrade for your engine bay. If you like details, man, my nose is itching. Sorry. If you like details like I do, I, I get intrigued by the details looking at people's different people's cars. But this one is easy, easy, easy. It is the Serbinator Fender Bolt Kit. I hope that zooms in. But basically what we're gonna do is you take these bolts, which is a stainless Allen head with a black washer. It replaces these ugly um, eight millimeter bolts. And most of the time the paint's coming off of or whatever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna swap these out tonight and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. This is probably like a 10 minute upgrade you can do and just make your engine bay just give it the little details that set you above everybody else not that you want to be above everybody else but set you apart from everybody else so check this out So look, it comes with the six stainless steel bolts and CNC aluminum machine washers for it. I got these with silver and black, just because I like that look. And I didn't have time to put them on my car, so Jesse, you get lucky. I'll uh, get another set for mine after Mustang week. So let's get this going. All right guys, so what we're gonna do, take them out one at a time and you shouldn't have to worry about your fender moving at all. This is just a quick. These are from Matt Serban. Uh, it's serbinator.com I think. I'll double check that. I'll put it on the screen. But he makes some uh, makes some NASCAR styled wings for the back of Mustangs. He has one for a coupes and convertibles already. The He's working on one for a hatchback. Makes them for F-150s. I think those are almost finished. And he actually makes his whole bolt kit for the whole, like your hood hinges and everything. Oh, they're even Ziploc bags, cool. I guess I probably should have these set up already, but. Rear flush mount. Pop it in there. This works for all 86 to 93 Mustangs. They work for the 4i cars too, but you have to change your uh, speed nuts underneath your fender. That's why I'm not putting it on the 80 on Maxine right now. Because I don't have time to pull the fenders off and get cool pre-ready. So. Gonna pop these in real quick. And these aren't like they don't have to be super tight. Just a nice snug is just holding the fender in place. Here we go. Now look at this compared to this one. So much better in my personal opinion and just just gives it a whole better look so i'm gonna finish putting these in and i'll show you guys after i get done i'm gonna make this a little quicker too Ah, oh, power tools, much better. <laughs> the right tool always makes the job easier, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Is that why you have so many tools? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a little tool problem, but. 
but it does make the job easier. It is a battery powered um, thingamajiggy. You gotta call me out on that. <laughs> um, battery powered ratchet. I, I think it has a. Uh, I think it's just a battery powered ratchet. How long have you had it? I got that for Christmas two years ago. From your parents. From my parents. Apparently. I asked them for it. And it's. Just, I think they got it. It's relatively cheap. I think it's like 40 bucks at Home Depot. It works really well. I was surprised. Truthfully, it does work really, and it stays charged for a while. I think I've charged it three times the whole time I've had it. I don't use it every day though, but, but it shows you how charged how it is. How much battery and, it has by the lights. Yeah. That's right, let's go to the other side. You guys don't know Matt Serban. He is a engineer now. He just graduated, but he's been in Fox Bodies for a long time and been making been making uh, things for Fox Bodies while he was in school. Uh, him and Harry. Pardon me. Matt and Harris came up with the wing one night. I believe the story is eating dinner and they drew it up on a napkin because uh, Harris had the idea and Matt made it happen and he's been making these things while he's in school for engineering and very impressive with the quality of stuff he's putting out it's very nice If anybody's curious. Husky. 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 You gotta say it like that when you say husky. it. Husky. You can't say husky. You gotta say husky. one last one this is relatively quick mm -hmm. I think it's taken about five minutes if you do a time lapse it may look like it took two minutes but <laughs> it's actually taken right at five minutes okay and you get the tools out I'd, I'd say you're ten minutes deep in this project especially if you don't have a, the battery ratchet take you a little bit longer to get them out but you're right it looks really nice mm -hmm. because it's so much nicer look so that's it guys 10 minute project and look at the results it just gives your car a more custom look and hit up Matt like I said I'll I'm sorry, Matt, I forgot the website right now, but I will put it on the screen. It'll be right here. 
you guys can go there and get the you can get the fender kit I think he offers a whole set like the hinges hood everything I'm probably gonna put all of them in my car over the winter time or after Mustang week anyway sometime after Mustang week because I've got to do um, I just got in the Scott rod panels I'm doing the pop in pop rivet ones I'm not doing the welded ones to uh, clean up my engine bay and I'll probably do all these bolts at that point but you guys make sure to go check them out get your set on the way this is something you could pop in before Mustang if you have an 86 to 93 Fox body or if you have a 79 to 85 you can also do it you just gotta pull the fenders off I just don't have time to do it with I got getting Jesse's car ready for Mustang week while the cool pre is getting wrapped Mad Max is the only one that's basically ready to go other than her nitrous bottle being painted and we just gotta get ready for Mustang week we were getting ready for pits we're bummed that that got canceled um, but you know there's always next year and we will see you guys at Mustang week till next time I'm out of here <laughs>